welcome to my Harry Potter display video. I have one other video that talks about the display of my Harry Potter stuff where it was on a bookshelf and it was overcrowded because I also shared that space with the rest of my books. So now I have this shelf up here and I have put I would say 99% of my Harry Potter stuff up there. I have a few other things that aren't here. Some of it's in storage that I haven't pulled out yet. So I'm going to do a quick run through of what's here. Eventually I'm going to do a video about my entire Harry Potter collection and I'll go item by item. Okay, so in the middle right here are my original first editions hardbacks of the American um, versions of the Harry Potter books. I have all seven of the series plus the Cursed Child standing up there since Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is the 19 years later I went ahead and put it there as well also because it's the same height. To the right here I have my illustrated editions of the first three books. I will eventually get the illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and that will go in that stack as well. On top of that I have the Harry Potter A Journey Through a History of Magic from the British Library edition. There's supposed to be an American edition coming out so once that comes out I'll get that as well. Standing on the books, I have the Rock Candy Funko Pops, or I don't think they're Pops though, the Funko Rock Candy figures. Those are the only three that I have. I got those ones at Target for a very discounted price of like $3 each. Usually they're around $10 or more, but they're the only three they had in the store, so I got them. And in front of them is a little red engine that I got from my July's Geek Gear box. That video should be up because I'm filming this after that. So, to the right of that, over here, I have a stone statue. That is not an actual Harry Potter item. I got that about three years ago now. Three and a half, maybe closer to three and a half at a antique store, storage warehouse, something like that. And it reminded me of Hedwig and I really loved it so I got it. And I keep it with my Harry Potter stuff because I think it's a good tribute to Hedwig. Okay, so staying on the same area of the shelf, but on the left hand side over here, this stack of books, the very bottom is a magazine, which I will eventually do a flip through and put it up. That is scheduled for a Monday this month. And above that I have two coloring books that I got at Walmart. They're the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's the Crayola Art Edge edition. Above that is a Harry Potter journal that I got, whew, I, I don't know, back when Gobble to Fire came out. And I think, I think it was the movie version that came out and not the book. Above that is my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. And then above those are my copies of The Tales of the Beetle the Bard and my set of Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set. Sitting on top of that, this little statue here is a puzzle thing that I found at Walmart that reminded me of Hedwig so I got it and put it together. It is not actually Harry Potter stuff but it's now and I thought of Hedwig so it's there my Harry Potter stuff. And 
that there is the captain pin that came in the July's Geek Gear box. And behind that is my Domingus, or not Domingus, Demi Guys, I think is how you say it, print that was also in that same box. To the left here, I have my Ravenclaw mug that's shaped like a cauldron. I don't know if you can see it, but right back here I have an old pill bottle that's actually glass and it's um, the amber color. I eventually want to create a label to go on there to make it look like a potion. In the mug I keep my Harry Potter bookmarks and also um, for the little figurines that are down here. I'll do a close up of those in a bit. They're the metal figures. I keep the labels that go with them so that I know which ones I have. And I keep the checklist that's on the back of one of the packages and I check them off as I get them. And also, let me see here, tilting up. This is a wreath that I usually keep holiday flowers in to go with the seasons. But I thought a better use, while well, there is no holidays, is to hang my collection of Harry Potter keychains. These are from the blind bags. I believe they're series 3. And I have two from series 3.5. But I keep a checklist from those two different series in the Ravenclaw mug as well. So I don't have all of the keychains. I have a lot of doubles. I'm missing quite a few. Um, I need Hedwig, Dobby, and a crest from the series 3. And then from the series 3.5 I have Snape and I don't know if I can... it looks like a little book cover which would be from the second one because Harry's holding the sword of Gryffindor. Those are the only two that I have from that 3.5. So I still need quite a few from that collection. And series 3 I'm missing a few as well. So I just hang up, I hang them up there. Eventually I'm going to take out the doubles and just keep one of each. And I need to figure out a way to kind of distribute them more. It's going to take using twine or wire or something because just draping them on the branches is good for the top, but this section here and this section here, I can't really get anything on there because of the direction of the branches. Okay, I'm going to tilt the camera back. Okay, so the bottom part of the shelf, this left-hand section is basically boxes and packaging. This is a Lego Dimensions box that I haven't opened yet. Um, I'm keeping them in there until I'm ready to put the Lego together. And in this white paper thing here is the soap bar that came with July's Geek Gear box. And then this here had a watch in it and I'll get a close up of that. Um, but right now I keep in there some paper clips that are Harry Potter they're magnetic that I got from Target and I also keep my patches in there that way my cat doesn't steal any of them. Eventually down here kind of like where the shadow is I want to install a board that has um, cork board on it so I can display my badges and um, the pins and buttons and all that and my patches everything there will be eventually pinned up there. Uh, that way I can display them better. So the middle section here are my metal figurines. I also have the Hermione and Buckbeak Lego Dimension set. And I next Monday, I believe, I will have a video of me putting together those two Lego figures. And I had to do that without directions because I don't have the game that goes with it. I didn't really know it was part of a game. I just thought it was a Lego set. 
And you have to have the game console thing to get the directions for Buckbeak. So I did it based on a picture and it took me a few tries, but I got it. So I created a video for that so anybody else who's in the same situation can put it together as well. And in front of all those I have my watch charm bracelet thing that came in that box. And again, I'm going to do a close up here in a minute. And then over on this shelf, right here is a Ravenclaw patch. And then here is a set of book plates. It's what they're called. One for each house plus the Hogwarts crest. They're all the crests, but one for each house and then the main Harry, Harry, excuse me. One for each house plus the main Hogwarts crest plus just something that says Harry Potter with a snitch on it. And it also came with a bookmark. I got that whew, maybe 15 or more years ago. I haven't used the stickers because I didn't want to put them in my books and then devalue the books or devalue the stickers. Kind of weird, I know, but that's how I collect things. And then to the right of that, on this white cardboard, are four buttons that are from, they're from Target and they're from the Quidditch World Cup that has Bulgaria and Ireland. And in front of that, I have a Ravenclaw lanyard, which has a few more buttons on it. And then right there is a Harry Potter eraser. There was supposed to be a Hermione and a Ron one as well, but I couldn't find them. I searched through the whole bins full of them and I couldn't find them. They only had Harry. So, and then down here, I have the metal figurines. I don't know what it's actually called. Place set thing is the Gryffindor Tower that you have to build and you play with your figurines on there. It came with two figures. Harry's holding the Sorcerer's Stone, which is from first year, and then Professor Snape. So now I'm going to do some close-ups on the little figurines and stuff. Oh, and I have a wand that also came in the Geek Gear box. And it's usually right up here. So as I do the close-ups, I will show it there as well. Okay, so that's where the wand usually rests. So here's the figures. Uh, the rock candy ones. That's the captain's pin badge. So these are the middle figures. Sorry the focus is bad. Mostly due to lack of light. And other than shining a flashlight, I can't really get any more light there. And then this is the charm bracelet. Those are the Legos. And then there's the patch. There's the patch. The book plate set. The buttons and those buttons as well and the little hairy there and then this here this here is the play set so you can kind of see there in Harry's hand the little red speck Well, so you can kind of see the red speck in Harry's hand. That's the Sorcerer's Stone, and that's Professor Snape out there. And this door actually opens. 
that's the fat lady that goes the portrait that's to the Gryffindor Tower and there's a little door down here as well that opens a little bit um, it's called the house elf door you have to be careful with that one though because it easily breaks off and all these pieces this furniture move along with the cases but there's a whole bunch of stickers that I put on as well that are the portraits so that is my Harry Potter display for all my collection that I have out I have a few old calendars and a couple puzzles are basically the only other things that I have thank you for watching my Harry Potter display video I will have a video up every Monday of a Harry Potter related subject whether it's a flip through of a magazine or a book or hauls or displays that type of thing or a Lego build every Monday I have one of those videos I'm also doing beta so I have a bunch of other types of videos going up as well I do mostly crochet and booktube type of videos and I'm also doing bullet journaling this month thank you for watching I'll see you next week and please check out the rest of my videos you can subscribe and thumbs up this video if you would like also in the description box down below I have my PO box address if you feel like sending me mail if you want to thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video bye